there everybody Taylor here again talking about Aromatis Dragons today <clears throat> uh, White Kirim it's always been the card that people laugh at no one ever gives White Kirim EX any kind of attention but I think that's a mistake because this card seems pretty lackluster but Double Dragon Energy is such an amazing card that even the dragons that people were laughing at before are now playable. And I love cards like that. These sleepers. I live for sleepers. And this ace spec here makes his attacks do 50 more damage. And his attack already does 150. So that bumps it up to 200, which means it's knocking out anything that they put out for the most part. Minus a couple megas here or there. What's cool about it is you can get it set up right away with Double Dragon. It's a potential turn two, swinging for 200 damage. Then even if they crack back and hit you for a lot, I have Aromatis with the Fairy Transfer, and since Double Dragons are all types, you can just swap the, the energies off of him to something else, like Gerantina, if they're playing Megas which is another good synergy with Kiram since he can't really knock out the Megas on his own in one hit. And then Wadios, which is also another good blocker because if they have an ability, they, he prevents all the damage that they deal to him. And his attack isn't that bad either. The damage is kind of low, but it gets through anything that they have, like Pyroar or Safeguard or any other kind of defensive moves that they're trying to make. And then Dredigan is also a good backup attacker because oh clicked on the wrong thing oh god Drodigan's gone <laughs> Drodigan's gone <laughs> but you guys get the idea then you got the max potions to to heal once you fairy transfer the energy alright there's some technical difficulties going on right now <laughs> that's a trainer's mail that is not a max potion This. There's like a lot less cards in this deck than there were before. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, we'll be back after the break. Back from our commercial break. So here we are talking about Kira Aromatis. And I was just getting into the, the max potions and how Fairy transferring the energies off of Kiram to one of the defensive blockers that I have gives me the opportunity to max potion and remove all the damage from Kiram and then Fairy transfer right back slam another energy down and just start attacking again with the crystal edge boosting the damage by 50 even his first attack for three energies gets bumped up to 110 and then if they uh, tool scrapper or megaphone the crystal edge that's why I have two eco arms in to get it back because it is a somewhat important part of the deck even though the deck doesn't rely on it it's still always nice to have it out and got two Skylas to search search it out if I don't get it earlier in the game or to get a max potion later on if I really need to remove all the damage and then Fairy Garden is always a good stadium to throw in if you're using Fairy Energies or Rainbows because it gives everything that has a Fairy Energy on it Free Retreat and Free Retreat is a very valuable thing to have some people don't realize that Free Retreat is one of the most powerful things in the game I think and yeah the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. Of course, all the energies are special, so that could potentially uh, come back to bite you in the butt. But um, that's why we have, if, even if they're using Age of Slash or something that um, has a counter to special energies, we have Latias, which gets right through all of that. So yeah, that's basically the gist. Thanks for watching.